Hi guys and welcome to my new video about tanks versus choppers. This comes in at a special request for a friend who sent me a message recently saying how sick he was of choppers destroying the game in Bad Company 2, thinking they were overpowered and that they were actually impossible to shoot down. Um, he was having a difficult time getting used to the tracer gun and saying you know, he hops into the anti-aircraft gun and the first thing the chopper does is kill him in the anti-aircraft gun. Now, I used to be like this myself and it came to a head with a game I played with Donica, um, I think it was Oasis, and our team was getting annihil annihilated by somebody in the Apache. Um, he was destroying everybody and nobody could shoot him down. And for me, I just got pissed off for this and I decided, no, I'm actually going to learn how to fly the chopper. And been able to actually do that myself. Uh, so I got uh, the onslaught mode and decided to learn how to fly the actual chopper and that. It wasn't until I learnt how to fly the chopper in a live game that I found its weaknesses and I've discovered the actual best way to take out a chopper is with a tank. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the key really with the tank is distance and the height of the chopper. Now, the higher the chopper the more difficult it is to reach, but if you've actually got a distance between you and the actual chopper you have a good chance of actually shooting them down. Um, if you do like a tracer Tracer the chopper, which most of the times I'm really shit with the tracer. I was pure luck that I hit them, and they're carrying smoke. Then that tracer becomes deactive, and it's quite hard to shoot them down with the RPG. Then um, AT4. Some people are just amazing at using the AT4. I'll hands up. I am totally crap at it. I just can't shoot down choppers with AT4 whatsoever. With the tank, I seem to be pretty good at it. Um, I'd have noticed Norse Valkyrie. Uh, he's actually very good at it too. Um, even when he started playing the game first, he was shooting down choppers left, right, and centre with the tank, which excellent. Um, the good thing about the tank, it takes them out in one shot. They have no chance of getting out of that chopper, and uh, the, the, the shell will hit them, hit them up the ass with a big surprise. So, to the person who sent me the message, it's not impossible to shoot down the choppers. You've just got to learn its weak spots. As I said. Distance and height of the chopper is is the key of taking it out. Look at this. This chopper here is flying pretty low. Managed to take him out. And another chopper now comes out of their base as well and managed to take him out. Uh, you'll see it now coming over the hill. So what I suggest is forget about the, the anti-aircraft gun. A good chopper pilot knows to take out the anti-aircraft gun. It's the biggest threat to him. Um, so using the tank, practicing with the tank, You'll, you'll actually learn how to do it, and it's it's pretty simple, really. Um, a good chopper pilot doesn't come down to how many kills he can get in a match. It comes down to him being able to dodge uh, the dangers on the ground, such as somebody on an anti-aircraft gun, or even a tank. Um, even those who do the circle stuff around a tank, you can still take them guys out. Um, I'll show you now in a bit. Another thing is make sure to defend your home base stop people from stealing your chopper as these guys are trying to do. Um, I'm having a bit of a difficult time trying to weed these guys out using the main gun. Um, so what I just do up around here now is I just jump onto the secondary gun on the tank. I find it easier just to take them out. So as you can see I'm missing this guy. So I'll just sit and wait. Right, he's going to poke his head out because there's the chopper. So get one, I'm going to take the chopper right now. I'll teach them guys a lesson. So as I said, being able to take out a circle straffle is pretty easy. Uh, take a look at this, there's a chopper over my head. He's coming round now, he's going to come round to my right and, and front. Now I don't shoot directly at the chopper, I shoot in the direction he's going in. Again, it's height and distance is the key. 
Take a look. I think he's down. No, it was a kind of a lucky shot. That was just a, a free shot. I know I wasn't really trying to take him out. Well, I was trying to take him out, but it was just a, a lucky one. Um, here, this was a game that I played against uh, Mole Man, Cheap Kills, MJ Whittle, Ty Webb, and a few others. Get Kraken was on my team. Um, they were actually on the opposite team, and they were kicking our arse. Uh, they kept sending me invites to join their team, but I decided no. I thought it was better crack to, to come up against them. So I just wanted to add this in, just for a bit of crack. Um, just to show you that they're coming up under the last base now. Uh, these guys are actually all pretty good players, so I had a tough time against them. Um, my team weren't really the best. There was a few in them that were, that were pretty good, putting up a strong fight, but we did get our arches kicked. So I know they're all in here. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to try and blow everything up because of the, the MCOM station was in there. So I just decided to take the, the tank gun. I'll tie Webb sitting in the corner there. So not realizing they're still in there, I can hear one or two of them when I drive out. And as I swing around, Mo Man sitting on top of a container and I just take them out. Anyway, that's it for the video. I uh, hope you liked it. Very short. Anyway. All the best now. Peace.